Welcome to Lesson 3, Using Adobe Bridge. Adobe Bridge is the command center of the Creative Suite. In Adobe Bridge, you can manage and organize your files, utilize and modify XMP metadata for faster searches, and quickly preview files before opening them. We're going to be using Bridge throughout this book for you to access your files. And you can open it several ways. One is that you can, of course, use the Launch Bridge button in the application bar in most of your applications included in the Creative Suite. But you can also access it separately. You'll see that I'm in Windows Vista, but I can also go through my Programs folder and access it that way as well. Now, what I'm going to do is just click on Launch Bridge. And it launches Adobe Bridge. And right now, I am looking at the contents on my desktop. I could just as easily click on Documents or Computer and it would act as a directory system, just like you're used to working with. But the really great thing about this is that not only can I see my folder system and navigate through it, but I can also open up the contents of these folders and a thumbnail is provided for each one of these images. Whether they're Photoshop documents or not, it doesn't matter. What I'm also seeing is a little bit of information, such as a preview, and then file properties, like perhaps you wanted to know when it was last modified, or the resolution, or the color mode. You can find all this information out prior to launching Photoshop and then opening up these files. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is perhaps just create a new folder, because maybe I want to organize these a little bit better. And so I'm just going to go and click on the new folder icon. And I'm going to call this Music Extras. And maybe I want to put some images in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this image up here, 1381, and hold down my Control key and click on 1426. Now, if you're on the Windows system, you could use your Control key to select non-consecutive files. If you're on the Mac system, you would use the Command key. So I've selected both of those files, and I'm just going to drag and drop them into my Music Extras folder. Now, other things you'll see that when I double click on this, of course, I can open that up. But I can also take advantage of Go Back and Go Forward buttons up here, or even choose recent files or folders that I've opened. Now I'm going to go ahead and remain in this view for the PSO3 lessons file. And perhaps I want to take several of these images that I can even click and drag a marquee and right click on them and say I want to stack these. And when I group these as a stack, they stack up together. And you might want to do this when you're organizing files and you want to keep um, projects together or files that are similar together. I can also just click on it to open these up, click again to close them, or right click and say, mm, never mind, ungroup from the stack, and then they come back out again. You can also just simply click on these files, and you can rename them at this time if you want. Just again, a lot of helpful organizational tools built right into here. Now, perhaps I want to do something else like, oh boy, maybe I'm accessing a server all the time to find my logos. And it is difficult. I have to go through computer to an FTP server, and it's usually maybe 10 or so steps for me to access that folder. Well, what I can do is simply take a folder that I use on a regular basis, and you'll notice that I can drag it and drop it into my Favorites tab. And when I click and drag it, that now appears here so that when I want to access it, like for instance, I'm back on the desktop and I want to quickly get to the Music Extras folder, I can simply click on it and voila, it appears so that I can continue working on it. Now I'm going to go back to the PS03 lessons and take this a little bit further. Perhaps I want to add keywords to some of these files so that I can find them easily, or metadata so that I can find them easily. I'm going to click on any one of the images, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to open this up a little bit. You can see I can open up the docking area. And by the way, if you're not seeing the same view as me, make sure that you are in the Essentials view. And you'll notice that you can grab this bar and open it up. And also note that as I scroll down, you'll see some of these items in the metadata have little pencils off to the right. That means these are items that I can change. So perhaps I want to come down here and say, hmm, you know, I want to put in here who created this particular file. 
I'm going to open up the IPTC core and I'm just going to put in here that the creator his job title is king of the world okay and you can put the creator city in here this would be hmm, we'll say Cleveland Ohio because that's where the king of the world lives now other things I can do I'm gonna first of all say yes that's correct keywords I can add keywords I'll click on the plus sign and type in that I want guitar as a keyword for this particular file and say yeah hit the enter key and check it and that's good now as I'm working in here why that's helpful look at this filter panel off to the left this is extremely helpful I can come through here and first of all it only lists or recognized items that are in the particular folder that's selected so for instance when I click to open up file type it sees only JPEG files in here but if I take this a little bit further and click on keywords it only lists the items with keywords so I'm not overrun with lots of different keywords that are used in various places but just in this particular folder there's the guitar and I can click on that and show it real quickly now if I add additional keywords to this particular file here we go notice that it's added to my list so it's really intuitive date created all sorts of information that you can find in here including the uh, metadata that I had put in as well I can also locate through here so now as I'm working in here perhaps I want to take this a little bit further and I want to convert all of these fine wonderful images into a web gallery you don't have to be an expert in creating a web gallery or even creating HTML all I have to do is select one of these images and then I'm going to shift click to select multiple images now at the top of the workspace there is an output button and if I click and hold on that I can choose output to web or PDF and you'll notice that my workspace changes a little bit it gives me the opportunity to choose over here in the output panel whether I'm going to create a PDF or web gallery and in this sample I'm just going to create a web gallery and you'll see that I can choose a template and maybe for this I just want to create a Lightroom flash gallery or an HTML gallery I'll go with just an HTML gallery keep it simple and now I can come through here and name what I want to call this maybe this is guitar gallery and this is information that will actually show up in your HTML pages when you're done so you might want to come in here and enter some real detailed information especially your address and your contact name but I can come in here and choose all the preferences that I want to set this up and in this case what I'm going to do is save this all to a disk and I'm just going to choose browse and I'll create go out to my desktop there we go and on my desktop go into my PS03 lesson file and there is a folder that's just sitting there waiting for me to use or you could create a new folder it's up to you but I'm going to use that folder that's there and then press save and it goes to work and so it's going through and building the images for me it's building the pages for me it's building the navigation tools for me when I click on gallery create it it's even going through and it's going to build the final HTML page for me so let me show you what has been done in here I'm going to close this up a little bit here as well as this and if I go back into the PSO3 lessons file you'll see that inside of here in my web folder is a folder that contains all the information that I need I can upload this myself I could have even uploaded it directly in bridge or I can give it to somebody to upload if I'm working with um, a web person but I'm just going to launch the index page here so that you get an idea of what it looks like it's launching in the browser and let me just go ahead and say allow blocked content yes that's fine and Here's the web gallery.